This quick tutorial will show you how to develop targeted searches that will get you the information you need from library resources and the web. Hopefully you've already distilled your topic into its essential terms and brainstormed synonymous and related terms like I did here. Once you've done that, you're ready to start creating searches. You're not going to want to use all of the terms you brainstormed in a single search, but to try different combinations of keywords. You'll be amazed how by tweaking your search just a little bit, you can get a very different results list. To combine your keywords, you need to use the Boolean operators AND, OR, and NOT. AND and OR are the ones that usually get the most use, but NOT can be useful for narrowing down your results. So let's look at how each of these operators work using an example from a classic Dr. Seuss book. Green eggs or ham is going to pull up green eggs without ham, ham without green eggs, and green eggs with ham. When you put or between two words, you're basically saying, find at least one of these terms. You can find both, but at least one. So or works well between words that mean almost the same thing, like salary, wages, pay, or earnings. Put or between words that don't mean the same thing, like gender or wages, and you're going to get every result about gender, as well as every result about wages, and most won't have anything to do with both terms. Then green eggs and ham is going to pull up you guessed it, just green eggs and ham. It won't find just green eggs or just ham, both have to be present. And is good to put between terms that mean different things, like gender and salary and expectations. Put and between terms that mean the same thing, and you'll likely end up with zero results, because how many authors are going to use that many different terms that essentially mean the same thing? Green eggs not ham will give you just green eggs. Not is useful for narrowing down your search when you absolutely don't want to get results that include specific concepts. For example, perhaps you're researching jaguars and don't want to get results about the car. Not would be very useful there. There are other ways of making your search more precise. Quotation marks are sometimes vital when doing a search. Quotation marks on either side of a phrase tell the computer that you're searching for that specific phrase rather than searching for each term separately in the document. So for example, let's say you're researching World War I. Without quotes, the computer doesn't know that those three words together mean anything, so it searches for them separately. And as you can see, you get a lot of results that don't quite fit. Now when you search for World War I with quotes, the computer knows that's a specific phrase and will only pull up results that also contain that specific phrase. Truncation can also be extremely useful. Let's say you're researching the safety of driving with cell phones. You could search for cell phones and driving, but you would then be missing any results that perhaps mention cellular phones or drivers. The asterisk tells the computer that your term can have any ending beyond the letters you've already typed in. So DRIV asterisk becomes a search for drive, driver, drivers, and driving. You can use this for all sorts of words that have multiple endings. Here are a few other examples of how truncation works. You also need to be careful with truncation because some words truncated can have a lot of different endings. I would suggest always starting a search with a small number of keywords and then adding more or changing them depending on how many and what kind of results you get. It's much easier to add later than to figure out what to take away when your search gives you a zero result. Don't give up if you don't get great results the first few times. There's no magic combination of keywords that will get you everything that exists on your topic. So be creative and keep on trying. If you need help, ask a librarian.